Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. My video today is going to be a grocery haul. I actually just got back from grocery shopping like 20 minutes ago. Um, have so much stuff. I was actually out of town for about the last 12 or so days, 10, 10 days, 12 days, whatever. Um, so before we left, uh, I tried to really empty out our fridge. So we have like zero food in our fridge. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Yes, our fridge basically just has beverages. Some apples down there, some ginger. Oh, and we did stock up on cheese yesterday. There's a cheese store near Wausau, Wisconsin called Mullins. Oh my gosh, I don't really do cheese, but my husband is obsessed with their curds. So that's what all the blocks of cheese are back there. He had to stock up on his his Mullins. So yeah, went to Costco and Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and the co-op and also one other grocery store, a local store called Metcalves, just for one specific thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to share what I picked up. Alrighty, grocery haul time. So here is all my stuff. These are all my bags, all my reusable bags. Um, and I have a cooler there, very big cooler there and big cooler there because it is finally summer here. All right, everything is unpacked now. I'm gonna go through it all in a second. This is not just for one week. We were just out of town for like 12 days. So we had zero food in our house. So this is like a massive, massive stock up haul. All right, first off, I went to Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's is one of the places I always get avocados. So I picked up five avocados. Um, I do find that Trader Joe's tends to have the best avocados, the best like consistency um, of quality. I also got five bags of beets. These are the organic beets from Trader Joe's. So I like to put in like one, maybe two of these when I make my juice. The reason I bought so many is because my local Trader Joe's is situated on a street that is under construction until November. So when I go to Trader Joe's, um, I stock up because I only like to go there like once a month because the traffic and the construction is such a pain in the butt. Um, also Trader Joe's, I picked up some onions. I got two bags of organic red onions, one bag of organic yellow onions. I don't know why, I just tend to always buy my onions at TJ's. Also got two things of organic garlic. Now you'll see in a second that I do tend to buy peeled garlic, but I like to have actual bulbs of garlic on hand, just for those emergencies when you realize that your already peeled garlic is moldy and gross. Uh, also picked up a bottle of rosé. This is La Coqueluche Rosé, uh, like six bucks at Trader Joe's. I don't really care about the actual rosé, but I love the bottle and I'm actually making a whole bunch of hummingbird feeders for my garden um, out of wine bottles, which I will be doing a video on shortly. Um, but I thought this would be super cute. Just imagine like a little hummingbird coming out of there, drinking sugar water, not drinking rosé. Um, anyway, so I thought that bottle would be really cute. Also got a jar of the Trader Joe's tahini, which is always nice. Um, two bags of nuts. I got some raw hazelnuts and some raw Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are super trendy right now, but they're kind of pricey. Um, also, Trader Joe's carries Health Aid kombucha, and they always have this pink lady apple flavor, so every time I go to Trader Joe's, I treat myself. Yes, I do make my own kombucha, but ah, Health Aid kombucha to me is like the best kombucha ever. And then I believe finally at Trader Joe's, picked up two organic cucumbers. I think I'm gonna start making my veggie juices a bit more like green and not so sweet. Like I do at beets, I do at carrots, I do at apples, but I think I'm gonna change the proportions of that stuff and use less of the sweet stuff and more like greens and cucumbers and who knows what else. Oh, and finally at Trader Joe's, I actually got this at Trader Joe's, flat leaf Italian parsley. I'm going to be making my chicken salad, which I did a video on last year. Uh, so I needed some parsley. All right, next up is Whole Foods. I generally tend to buy most of my meat between Whole Foods and the co-op. So I picked up two bags of this frozen Atlantic salmon, frozen Atlantic salmon fillets. I generally like this. Um, sometimes you get a bag that has a couple pieces that are slightly fishy, but in general, I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it was, usually it's like 20 bucks for the six, so it is about two pounds per bag. Um, but I think it was down to like 18 today. Also at Whole Foods, I picked up, what, what did I get? Three pounds? Three and a half pounds of beef bones, because I'm going to be making some broth pretty soon, experimenting with some broth. Um, so these were not like fancy 
grass-fed bones, which I really wanted. Um, they didn't actually have any pastured bones. These are like one on their animal welfare rating. So apparently no antibiotics, no hormones, but they have been grain-fed towards the end, I guess. So I wasn't like thrilled that they were just like level one of like the Whole Foods meat rating scale, um, but I'm gonna try it. I'll keep my eye out for proper pastured bones. And as I said, I'm gonna be making chicken salad, so I picked up some organic, boneless, skinless chicken breast at Whole Foods, which is so expensive. All right, next I stopped at Metcalf's, um, which is just a local grocery store in Madison, and it's beautiful. If you're ever in Madison, check out Metcalf's. Super great store, and they also carry a ton of local brands, which is really nice. Um, I picked up two bottles of Original Flavor Healthy Kombucha. Not because I'm gonna drink it, but because I'm going to play around with making my own SCOBY. Um, so I wanted to get a couple varieties of Original Flavored Kombucha to make SCOBYs and then see which ones produced the best kombucha afterwards. So keep an eye out for a how to grow your own SCOBY video. Probably we'll have that up in like three weeks, maybe? All right, next I went to Willie Street Co-op. Um, there are three locations in Madison. There's the east side, west side, and north side. I vary between uh, the east and west side. So speaking of kombucha, I got a big honker bottle of GT's original kombucha. Um, I don't need this much. Again, I'm gonna use the GT's um, to grow a SCOBY. But I was looking at the price of the smaller bottles and literally two small bottles, which is only equal to like half the amount of this, was the same price as this. So I was like, well, I'll drink it anyway. So also at the co-op, I picked up some Califia Farms coconut almond milk. I've been slowly getting more and more into smoothies. So I wanted to have that. I do plan to make my own like dairy-free milks but it's nice to have some on hand. Also, my most favorite coffee, I don't actually drink coffee, this is for my hubby, um, there is this brand called Just, and we get the decaf dark. So good, it smells so good. Um, that brand Just, love their coffee. Sometimes I'll take like, you know, a quarter of a cup um, of my husband's coffee, but the decaf dark is amazing. The Maya Super Dark, my absolute favorite, but it's like full calf and, if I drink that, I get a bit wild, uh, so I generally just stick to tea. Also, the co-op actually had chicken on sale, which I didn't realize until after I'd already gone to Whole Foods and bought my pack of organic chicken at Whole Foods for like a crazy, crazy price, like nine bucks a pound, what is that? Um, so I picked up three packs. This is Tot Hill Farms. Oh, it's from Madison. I wonder where that is. Um, anyway, this and this. And this, I think it's originally, yeah, $7.99 a pound, and it was down to $3.99 a pound. So I figured I'll just freeze these. Um, like this packaging the co-op uses, I've totally bought stuff there before when it's on promo, and I'll freeze it, and it's perfect. All right, got some of my peeled garlic. So I picked up one chocolate bar because they weren't on sale. Um, this is the Equal Exchange Chocolate, and this is the Dark Chocolate Orange. Super good, I mentioned this one in my chocolate video a couple weeks ago. Also picked up some pre-made hummus. Um, I generally don't get like pre-packaged foods, but this stuff is from this place, Bonzo. So Bonzo is a local restaurant in Madison, like Mediterranean restaurant. They do amazing falafel, all this stuff. Um, and their hummus, mm, amazing. They have a restaurant, I think the Northeast side, and then they definitely have one food cart. They might have two food carts, can't remember. Alrighty, also at the co-op, I got two dozen eggs. I love buying these because they're in pink, um, but they're really good quality. This is from Yuppie Hill Poultry. Where are you guys from? Burlington, Wisconsin. Ooh, a woman owned and operated farm. Yes! Also got a little bit of fresh ginger for juicing. And then I got four little bitty uh, zucchinis. I like to saute zucchinis, but they were really expensive today. So I kept it, I kept it at the minimum. Also picked up a bag of blue chips uh, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna dive into the blue chips with that hummus for lunch. Right, and then finally at the co-op, I picked up some herbs. I totally planted herbs and some of my herbs are okay, but some of them look really bad and it's summer and I really want beautiful herbs on my balcony. So I picked up some of this German winter thyme and it says it's a perennial. So I'm really hoping to put that in a pot and keep it throughout the year. And then this one, tender perennial. This is lemon thyme. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then this one is Italian flat parsley. So these were all locally grown. 
from Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. So that's just east of Madison. All right, we are almost done, I promise. I just have to go through my Costco stuff. So first, I got a big thing of organic celery. My gosh, what is this? Like three pounds of celery? It's gotta be like, come on, how heavy are you? It's humongous. I don't know, but it usually takes me like three weeks to go through that. Um, I put celery in my juice. Also got a giant bag of organic limes. What are you? Five pounds. That'll last me a while. Also got a big bag of lemons. We got five pounds of lemons here. Uh, these are not organic. I don't believe they had organic lemons at Costco today. Mm, I picked up three of these raspberries. These are the Driscoli organic raspberries. And I also got three things of the Driscoli organic blueberries. This is what I tend to be using for flavoring my June these days. And oh my gosh, blueberry June is like the best. Also at Costco, I got three giant boxes of organic spinach. It's this Earthbound Farm tender baby spinach. Um, Costco does have another brand of spinach that's sold in the same spot as this one. And it's, it's like in a different kind of container, but inside the container, it's actually like wrapped in plastic. Don't buy that because every time I buy that, it just gets, there's something about the packaging and it just gets really gross and wilted and just all like mushy and ugh, super gross. And I end up having to throw it away all the time. So I only buy this Earthbound one. I also got two of these giant bags of Earthbound Farms uh, Power Greens. This is a blend of baby chard, kale, and spinach. Each of these is one and a half pounds, and I generally either blend this up into a smoothie or I will juice it. I got two bags of avocados. There's six in each of these. Um, I generally buy a bunch of these at Costco and then put them in the fridge until I'm out of ripe avocados. And it seems like if I take them out about two or three days before I want them, I have perfect avocados all the time. All right, got a humongous bag of carrots, organic carrots, a 10 pound bag. Again, that's for juicing. And finally at Costco, I got two meat products. So I got this prosciutto. I tend to buy this a lot, it's super good. My cat loves to eat it too, but she only gets a little bit. Um, this is the prosciutto di parma, uh, super good. And yeah, you just take like a couple pieces, put it on a salad and it's dullish. Um, and then finally, I've never tried these, so I cannot speak about how they are. So these are grass-fed beef Polish sausages. So I guess the brand is Teton. Teton Waters Ranch. Um, they're gluten-free, and they do not have a lot of crap in them. Grass-fed beef, water less than 2% of the following, sea salt, vinegar, spices, including paprika, celery powder, garlic powder, cherry powder. So they actually come, they're like wrapped like this, like four to a package. So I plan on freezing two of these. Um, and then the next time I go visit my parents who have a grill, I don't have a grill, so I don't get any grilled food unless I go north. Um, yeah, I thought I would take those sausages up and we'll grill them up on their grill. Okay, there you go. All my crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, my kitchen is such a mess. I am going to go and put all of this away. Et voila, our fridge is stocked. Can't get anything else in there. And we also do have a chest freezer and that is super full of meat now. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.